Oh, I have forgot the table. Don't, don't tell anyone that I used the same rug that I need, that I used for before. It's the amazing. It is like riding in a fairy tale. This is a fairy tale. And that was pretty much it. This was the third night um, and I am in beautiful Dobre at the camping that's called Dobre Skogens Camping. And I got this beautiful cabin. The man in the reception, reception. The owner uh, of the camping excused himself because they normally didn't rent out this uh, cabin for some reason. I can't understand why. I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They just don't like it for some reason. Uh, there was no uh, uh, pillow or um, or um, I don't know the English name Tekke uh, in Swedish or I will <laughs> text it in the video but that's of course because they don't rent it out uh, and uh, the same with uh, pots and pans and things like that but I have my trangia so I don't need any pots for making my coffee or breakfast and this thing I have my own and I have my sleeping bag so it's not a problem either um, I got it for a, a lower price, and I mean it's it's a roof over my head, and uh, it's have uh, electricity. I could charge my camera, my phone, and uh, it's uh, heating in here and. It's a refrigerator. I can't wish for more. I can't wish for more. That's more than uh, enough, actually. I never used a refrigerator and uh, mostly I don't use the uh, stove. If there is a water boiler uh, I I used to use it, but uh, otherwise I use my Trangia instead or what else I have for boiling. So that's definitely not a problem for me. I'm used to sleep in simpler uh, cabin also than this or the tent. And the tent is really nice. Um, well, I have to uh, clean up a little on the table and start to uh, make me uh, some breakfast. On my last trip, I had uh, my uh, dried milk in the paper bag that they are sold in and uh, everything vibrate, vibrate when riding and uh, the bag one of them had uh, uh, 
vibrate against something so it was a hole in the bag and uh, a lot of uh, milk powder was uh, out in uh, the plastic bag that I had around it so I don't get all my side case full of powder milk but it's uh, anyway not uh, op optimal so I uh, took that uh, plastic jar instead I'm starting to get an idea of what I want to bring it's not uh, a lot of thing that I don't use but it's the it's how how many of each thing that I need for example I have power banks and at this trip I have just been here for three nights and I have slept in cabin two of those nights and then you almost don't need a power bank. I need a power bank to recharge my phone. But I, at that situation I could have a really small power bank. In, in the last uh, trip I was out uh, for nine days, nine nights, and I slept in cabin two times. In that situation I don't have uh, the possibility to recharge the battery or recharge the power bank. Then I use more power bank and the bigger of my power bank is enough for about two nights. So if I will be out seven or actually <laughs> nine nights or seven nights in tent without any possibility to recharge, then I need three power banks to recharge my phone and my GoPro and things like that. If traveling without GoPro then it's not a big problem. Then you don't need power banks. Another example is clothes. How much socks and underwear do you need? How long time in a sweater like this one before you want to change it? You can wash it but if it's raining and you are sleeping in a tent, then you have a big problem to get it dry. So in that case you can't wash it and you need uh, more underwear. And uh, what if something happened? So you get wet. Then you also need something to change to. So if the weather is nice, you you can. You don't need that much uh, clothes because you can wash and uh, dry. But if it's raining, or it's cloudy, or little, then it's harder, and then you need more. And uh, the temperature on the night also set a limit of uh, what. Uh, rating you need for your sleeping bag <clears throat> do you need a liner jacket for example uh, 
You definitely should have one because uh, it's really nice when sleeping in a tent because you can use it as a pillow or if it's cooler than what your sleeping bag is rated for you can also use it um, for extra layer so um, definitely you should have a, a liner jacket time for breakfast I think you have seen this before time for breakfast I think you have seen this before but maybe not this oh it's a sausage or korb for my coffee there is no handle for this one but I think I can use this maybe He said he normally didn't rent out his cabin, so I guess it's not that dirty in here. It just caused me a problem. I have to do it. I have to stand on my knees. I haven't used this room at all. I think in the other cabin they only have this little room and the other room, the one that I slept in, it's um, open uh, so you can have the kitchen and something like that in that part. So it's maybe a little difference between how those uh, cabin looks. I used to have something like this. I always used to bring that. Even in hotel and things like that. And I have used it in London, for example, where they have another type of uh, outlet. Uh, then I just need one converter from uh, the outlet in London, in England, to the European model. And then I can put in uh, that type of uh, uh, equipment and use all uh, electrical things in, in, in this one instead of have one uh, adapter for each uh, charger for example oh I have forgot the table don't don't tell anyone that I use the same rug that I need that I used for the floor And that was pretty much it. Now I just have to go to the toilet and do number one. And put my clothes on and pack my garbage so I can take it home. And then leave the key and yeah, then I'm ready to go. See you later. My cabin for tonight, number nine. And now I am starting to riding home. And 
I don't forgot to video record it this time. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Really nice cabin. I talked with the owner and told him that I had a wonderful night. I am so pleased. I couldn't wish for more than that. So I'm heading home. And it's a big road home. So uh, it shouldn't be any problem. Uh, it's of course it's a lot of traffic, but uh, not extremely much. So. And it's uh, a smooth part in Norway, 80 km per hour. So it is. Uh, Relatively calm traffic. No one from the left and no one from the right. And here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Dovre Skogens camping. It was a wonderful uh, visiting. Okay, so it was a uh, biltema in uh, Lillehammer, that I didn't know, but I don't know how to get there. Um, and here we are. Okay, my friends, I am almost at home uh, from this last uh, trip to Norway. That was all for now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in next video. Bye! Of course, it's one, one thing more that maybe can an interest you. How? How long was this trip? All in all, 1425 km. And my last trip was 3500 something. So almost 5000 km on my bike this summer. And that's pretty good, I think. That's not bad. <laughs>